morning, everybody. I didn't put on very many miles yesterday. I put on zero miles yesterday. So, might be doubling up on my mileage south today. We shall see. I have zero plans. I have zero itinerary. Ugh, I'm like, I mean, it's not like my job to entertain people, but technically, as you travel around the country, you just find stuff. So, that's what we'll do today. better this is than I-5. I mean, both, the, both of them are going south, but I-5 is all about getting you there quick, quickly, fastest way possible. Or this is a lot more scenic along 101. Now we just got into Hebo, or Hebo, Oregon. Speed limit down to 30, but it's okay. Hang on, I'm gonna flip, flip a U here. <laughs> I found Paul Bunyan's fishing pole. <laughs> Look at this thing. That's huge. This is Nestucca Valley Sporting Goods. And that is the biggest fishing pole I've ever seen on the roof. That's pretty cool. Uh, Google says that uh, the fishing rod itself was made out of a repurposed telephone pole. That makes sense. That's a good idea. <laughs> Never know what you're going to see on the road, though. Bad. Jax is crying for lunch, so we're gonna do Jax's lunch now. I'm here in Lincoln City, and I'm gonna turn right here because the sign says Abraham Lincoln Memorial, and I would definitely like to see this. Is this gonna be another one of those where they don't give me? Hey Siri. Oh wait, I see it. Very cool. I really like this one. Although that's kind of like texting and driving, reading a book while riding a horse. It's called Lincoln on the Prairie. It says to the people of Lincoln County as sharers in the noble history of the old Oregon territory of which in 1849 Abraham Lincoln was asked to be governor. I hope that for you and your children and for all who come after you in your beautiful state it may stand as an inspiration not only to seek education in youth but in the spirit of Lincoln to find in frustration and disappointment at any age new opportunity through further education. Yeah Abraham Lincoln one of the good ones. I'll put GPS coordinates of where this is at in the video description below. Right, usually these uh, brown signs entice me for, to see something cool. There's the uh, Pacific Ocean. Even on a gray, cloudy weekday, lots of people at the beach. But I want to walk over here because the reason I came in here and then I Googled something is because we're going to see, I believe, the shortest river 
in the world at 440 feet long. All right, everybody, here it is, the D River, the shortest river in the world, 440 feet long. So this is where fresh water meets right here and then goes out into the Pacific Ocean over there. So don't say I never take you guys places. <laughs> That's really odd how all that fresh water just empties right into there like that. It's a day use place. I wanted to, it's also called a rest stop on all stays. So they never change what I input. I just go in there and leave a comment and say, hey, just so you guys know, the sign says no overnight parking. So, and then there's people who comment and they're like, we saw the signs and we still did it anyway and didn't get in trouble. Well, okay. I'm all one for like, if it doesn't say anything, go ahead and try it. But if it physically says, do not overnight park here, I won't do it. And I don't think other people should either. It's kind of abusing it. But lots of activities here. I'm the only person in a t-shirt and shorts. And that's okay, I'm not cold. I think these people are just overreacting a little bit. What's going on, Jax? That's cool, they're actually letting people try it for myself. Wait, Jax is getting a lot of attention here. <laughs> you know, today's really been a laid back, easy day. Actually, I think it's just uh, the weather is just really okay with me. This is gray skies are fine. Yeah, it makes filming a lot easier, so that's good. Got another rest stop plugged in here as a potential spot to boondock, so I'll tap that in. Let's see, got this on uh, all stays. How far? Eight miles south of here. All right, here we go. Jax, did you just Dave Hughes in the litter box while we're driving? Ugh. He's not gonna like that one. <laughs> that sign says day use only. <laughs> well, thank you for leaving. How kind and thoughtful. Actually, I did see something about uh, like a half a mile back. I think it's like a potential Eric oh, boondocking spot. So that's where we head next. Check out these waves. They're hitting all kinds of rocks here. Whoa! <laughs> that was awesome. That was impressive. Look at my spot. Look at my spot, everybody. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Right over there where that, we kind of see that rail over there. That's where the, the park is that I was just at. And this little turn off, it talks about uh, being a protected area. Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. Otherwise, it doesn't say anything about uh, not being able to camp here. This is actually a pretty big lot here. You could fit a couple of RVs in this little spot right here. Run the little thing that says Oregon Coast Trail. And yeah, okay, cool. And more awesome views. Yeah, sweet. I really couldn't be happier with the way things turned out. This is so much better, a little more private and just natural beauty. Of course, you, you got the highway. That's 101 right there. So you know what, there's gonna be road noise. It's just the way it is. Nothing you can do about it. I think I'm gonna go back and get my boots because the trail looks a little muddy through here, but it sure looks like a good viewpoint here. Worst case scenario, probably, probably a year from now, this site will have a sign that says no overnight parking like a lot of other places, but it doesn't right now. 
I'm gonna pop the drone up, leave you with that. You guys have a good night. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks guys.